What's that? You guys want to see more Model 28 sewing? All right, here we go. This is my 1904 Model 28 I recently got. Uh, I'm going to be making videos about this machine more in the future because I think this was a recycled machine. And I'll talk about that more in a future video. Um, if you've seen this the machine when I got it, it was missing this cover here. So I've taken these two covers off of a Model 28 that I uh, got with this machine. But it was in rough shape, so I stripped the machine down for parts. And I used it to fix uh, a couple of the machines. So one machine became a donor for a couple machines. So one to make a couple complete was well worth it. Anyways, I thought I'd show you guys this run of stitch right here. This is uh, all good to go, to go now, so here we go. This one's a lot noisier than my 1895. Um, that machine runs pretty quiet because it has the original bobbin. Now I do have the original bobbin with this machine, but for some reason it's grabbing a hold of the thread. But yeah, this thing sews just as well. Uh, the shuttle that I put in here is out of the 128, which was a 1936 model. And it works. It works fine. It's just a little bit noisier because there's a uh, little slight difference in the shuttles, but not enough that you can't use them. Um, on the other shuttle there, on this shuttle, I don't know if you can see it in this video. Let's see if I can get that here. Where is it? Right here. Anyways, there's a little notch right here, um, and on the later models, that notch wasn't there. Uh, I don't see that making a difference with the with the shuttle. Everything seems to be working good, but it is a little bit noisier, so maybe that notch does have something to do with it. Uh, but I'm going to see if I can get the original bobbin working. I've taken the leaf off, I've polished everything, and for some reason, even when I try to loosen the screw off all the way, it still won't let the thread. I could take the leaf spring off, and if I try to pull the thread in the reverse direction that, that it goes, uh, it seems to lock up. Anyways, that's a whole nother video. But there you go. So that's the uh, 1904 that I got, and uh, it sews very well. It's got a it's got a good stitch as well. You can see that right there. It's nice. Um, here's a maybe this will show up on there, but you can see that's some um, clothing grade vinyl there. Not a huge thick material, but it's so that beautiful, nice and even. Look at those stitches. Now, come on, I'm talking over a hundred years old. Could you imagine if we made stuff like this still today? You know, the money that was spent on this back in the day was well spent. And, and when Singer made these machines, <clears throat> he only cared about the dollar, is what he used to say. But in reality, I think he did more than that. He didn't realize what he was doing was showing that he actually did care about your money. He wanted your dollar, but he made sure that you got a quality item for that dollar. He goes, come on, this thing's over 100 years old and still going. So if you spent two weeks pay on something that you knew that was going to be here and still work the day like you bought it 100 years from now, would you buy that product? Most certainly you'd buy that product. So anyways, that's a testament to singers. This machine still needs a bath. She's still dirty. Um, yes, I said she. Uh, but I mean, I'm going to go over this machine even better. I still got to do some oiling under on the undercarriage. I've done a cleaning and a light oiling. But I like to dismantle certain parts and get them 100%. So, but I thought I'd show you guys this machine stitches too. Stay tuned for more of my uh, collection. I'll, I'll show you all of my machines working. And um, if they don't work, then they shouldn't be on my shelf. That's how I do it. <laughs> Anyways, stay tuned and stay safe.